Hey, this is Tina Lovegreen, and I'm here for JadorHouseMusic.com, and you're in the house with Max Vangeli. I think that you need to show me what's in your suitcase right now. Well, I was, it took me like, I had like half an hour to pack, so I don't know, I just have a bunch of shoes. Bunch of, how uh, many shoes do you carry with you on a trip? Well, I love my kicks, so I have <laughs> one, two, I have, Three. And I have my Adidas, and then I have my traveling piano. It's really you, cute. Do you play the piano? Yeah. This is what I use to, you know, make music on the road on my laptop. And then a lot of cash. That's it. I was actually interested in rock music before, but I was very difficult for me to uh, form a band because people are flaky all the time. And house music, you know, gives me an opportunity to be a one-man kind of a band, so I get to do everything myself. I'm really looking forward to uh, the summer. We're doing a lot of big festivals like uh, Creamfields and LED. Uh, Creamfields with the Swedish House Mafia. Um, and Antoine is going to be there, and uh, Kim Fay as well. I mean, to me, a festival, it, it, it's more of uh, um, who you're surrounded with, who, who, who are going to be playing with you at the festival, which is more exciting versus picking a particular festival that I would enjoy playing at. I have more fun when your friends are with you, you know, playing together, you know, partying together. It's just a part of, you know, I guess, the fun factor. So tell me, where did you meet Antoine? Uh, Antoine and I met on the internet. On the internet? Yeah. Uh, we just liked each other's stuff, you know, sent it over. Uh, I, I knew that he was releasing some stuff and he heard some of my stuff before. So I got in touch with him through a mutual friend and we started doing some projects together and it's really, you know, been amazing. How we work with Antoine is we find this emotional, like, side in the breakdowns where it's very melodic and beautiful where people can relate and feel good about life and everything and and then we bring that aspect of clubbing of the you know the hard part where people are happy and then all of a sudden we need to get them dancing somehow because they're when they're happy and they're just listening to these melodies they're not dancing and then you hit them hard with, with the beats get the energy going again and it's kind of a roller coaster right so we tried to build tracks that from the beginning kind of build into this explosion that we create in our music. What are some producers or DJs that you'd want to work with in the future? I would I would rather work with, instead of producers I would rather work with some talent in terms of uh, you know songwriters and uh, you know singers Antoine and I, we've talked about it a bunch of times. He'd love to do a track with Ellie Goulding, obviously, an original track, or do something with, you know, Florence from Florence and the Machine. You know, that would be incredible, amazing vocals. Why do you find that exciting? Is it just because it's challenging? I think it's challenging, and it's um, and you also you you learn from that. You know, you you learn doing something completely different, a completely different genre mixed in with dance music. So you you grow and you uh, you learn new things in music in general, which makes you better. Okay, I have this one weakness that I have to, and I'm and I'm changing it like ASAP because it's horrible. I tend to fall into reading these bloggers and you know critics in general, you know and. But uh, there's a difference between a critic and a hater, though. And what I want to say, actually, which is very important, is that I don't mind if people criticize my music. That's fine. I've gone through that already. But these people need to understand that certain artists who are starting out, who would you know put out their first track ever that they've ever made, is that they get criticized so bad that it really it hurts them so bad to the point where some people just are afraid to keep going and keep producing, and these people on the blocks they seem to not really care they're just like little kids you know yeah. just criticizing yeah it's crap what can we expect from you next 
We need to get some original stuff out. We want to get some original stuff out, which is the reason why we stopped on the remixes a little bit. Just a little bit slowed down because we've been just pumping remix work. Just did the Eric Murillo remix, which was out right now. And then the last remix that is going to be out is the Switchfoot, August uh, 3rd, I believe. And after that, we're going to do some original work. So that's important and just a lot of playing. It's great that people enjoy what I do. It's what makes me want to do more of what I do. And the fact that people actually want to, you know, see me live and perform and stuff, it's what keeps me going every day. You know, that's the reason why I want to make more music and the reason why I love playing.